It's Finn. I want to talk to you about why you got caught in a narcissist trap. I would like to use the example of the hunter and the prey that is hunted. When a hunter sets a trap in the forest and they come back to inspect the trap, I assure you that they do not say, oh, this is the wrong bear. I wanted the bear with the brown nose. And this is the bear with the black nose. No! <laughs> the hunter settles with the prey that was available. The same truth is applicable to the narcissist's search for supply. When a narcissist is looking for prey, they're looking everywhere. No location is exempt from spotting and catching prey. When you get caught in a narcissist's trap, it is not for the fact that you were specifically chosen. No, the truth is that you were available. In the place that the narc was looking for supply, you happened to be available at the moment while they were searching. If I were to tell you that you were chosen because you were so special, then I would be telling you that your vulnerability for getting trapped is some physical or mental, mental feature specific to you that caught the attention of the narc. But that's not true. Actually, you could have been anyone. And you're just a dime a dozen because you're prey. This world is full of prey. You are prey that is available. It's your availability that gets you caught in their trap. And after you are discarded, the next prey will be available for the narc to resupply themselves. This world is a feeding frenzy for the narc because the world is full of supply. It's like being a kid in the candy store. Prey is abundant, and that's why they can discard so easily. No one is special. It's just supply and demand. Now, how do I know this? I know because as soon as you are dumped, and before you are dumped and discarded, the narc has found someone new. It could be good supply, it could be bad supply. It doesn't matter. The fact remains that the new supply was available. The narc only hunts available prey. Then they set the trap. Let me say that again. The narc only hunts available prey. They're lazy. Whatever's available, they'll take it. Good or bad, period. The prey in the wild never says, Oh, look, that trap was set just for me. That trap has my name on it. That's silly. All traps are unexpected. You could be good supply or you could be bad supply. Both are chosen because the variable that matters is availability. You can squash the idea that you're special to the narcissist. You know that you're not special to the narcissist. You know that. They don't care about you. Remember? They only want your supply. That means your time, your emotions, your possessions, your image, your family, and the rest of your power and resources. Don't be misled, believing that you're someone special. No one is special to the narcissist except one person. And we all know who that one person is. Don't get me wrong. You are special. You are very special. You have power. You have value. Let me give you an example. You probably have electricity in your home. Let me ask. Would you plug in an extension cord into a wall outlet of your home and put the other end outside your window for anyone to take however much electricity they want? Sounds silly, right? Well, aren't you doing the same thing? Aren't you giving your power away to the narcissist? It seems silly to give away your power when it's explained this way. How do you feel about giving away your power now? Everybody has power. Let me give you a second example. You probably have money in your pocket. Let me ask. Would you take all the money out of your pocket and hold it in your hand, and as people walk by, you allow them to take however much money they want? 
Probably not, right? Well, the value of your money in your pocket holds the same weight as the value of your time, your emotions, your possessions, your image, your family, and the rest of your resources. But you will freely give that money away to the narcissist. How do you feel about giving away your valuables now? Everybody has value. The perspective of you being a subject of prey to the narcissist is a matter of your availability to getting trapped. Perspectives of your being a subject of prey from the condition of your special attributes is not the main factor of getting trapped. A narcissist is curious about every person on the planet that broadcasts their power and value. Convenience is the price of temptation. Let me say that again. Convenience is the price of temptation. As prey, if you are available, then it is convenient for the narcissist to tempt you into relinquishing your supply of time, emotions, possessions, image, family, and the rest of your power and resources. The narcissist lives by this survival code. Trap whatever is available. If you make yourself available to the narcissist, then they will tempt you into being manipulated by them. How do I know this? How do I know that they could have tempted anyone and that you are no one special? Because I know that this is how evil machinations of the narcissist operates. I will give you an ancient example. In the Bible, it reveals in Matthew chapter 4 how Satan tempted Jesus, but Satan was forced to leave Jesus to tempt him again at a more convenient time. In other words, the narcissist picks anyone, anywhere, and at any time by one factor, their availability. Are you available today to get trapped? Until next time, pursue happiness.